post-play broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. With David Aldridge on our sideline, and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, this is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Anthony Davis was among the top candidates for last season's Defensive Player of the Year award. AD said he takes pride in his defense, adding, anytime guys feel they can score it on me, I take it personally. Kevin, it's going to take an awful lot to get your shots up over the brow. Back to you. Sure does, DA. Thank you so much. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Caldwell Pope out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Drummond in at the five. And for the Heat, we've got Dwayne Dedman, Kendrick Nunn out there with Victor Oladipo. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Butler in at the three spot. Plenty of experience, Greg, on the floor tonight. How does that shape what we're about to see, do you think? You know, Kevin, this is one of those games where guys are going to be smart out on the floor. They're going to be in the right positions to make plays. And honestly, this could come down to who makes the bigger, tougher shots. Adebayo kicks to none. Lays it up and banks it in. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Now here's Drummond. Right side Davis. Over Adebayo. That's good from Davis on the assist by Drummond. Love what Drummond did on that play. Kept his eyes up and he was being unselfish. Schroeder against none. Outside Butler. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. And it's Drummond with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. That mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. It was a terrific performance we got a chance to watch. They got into a nice rhythm and made smart adjustments along the way. And Oladipo kicks to Buck. Pass to Nunn. Lock at six. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That's his first foul. And Davis sends it back. What's crazy about AD as a shot blocker, he can block your shot at all three levels. LeBron, good. Well, this gives you some confidence when you drop three straight to start the game. Here's Nunn following the basket by LeBron James. Nunn passes to Oladipo. Kicks it to Dedman. Five on the clock. Miami needs to get a shot off. And again, it's the Heat missing. The Lakers have gotten their first three shots to go in for him. Oh, my oh goodness. My Did you see what that a play. One, <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Add that one to LeBron's highlight reel. How about the creativity in midair? Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help? defensively no excuse you have to be aware he should be on your radar all the time here's Schroeder after the made shot from Victor Oladipo and the official signal the backcourt violation not very careful there let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block some intimidation right away gotta show those shooters you're gonna be there all night long And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Inside, here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. And when Oladipo makes passes like that, his team kicks into a whole new gear offensively. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. To the paint, here's Schroeder. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Victor Oladipo. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. 
Lakers shooting their first free throws here for the night. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Shooting two. free throw missing and you know Dennis Schroeder from the moment he came into the league showed tremendous confidence he's never been the type to back down and the second free throw good The Heat trail by three. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. And there's the pass to Nunn. And it's sent back by Drummond. Andre Drummond with the wingspan of seven foot six. It's going to be hard to get it over him. After four straight makes, couldn't quite get that one to go down. Still a terrific start. Butler attacking. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Lakers have gone four of five from the field so far. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Shoots. Detman with the block. The 7-4 wingspan of Detman. Hard to get your shot over that. And it's Schroeder missing. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Here's Autobio. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Miami trailer. None passes to Autobio. It's deflected. And a guy who blocks a few shots. KCP stepping up and gets all of that one. And Steve, as we get into the middle of the season, do you feel we have a good idea of who the contenders are at this point? The major forces, Kevin, you know for sure where they are. There are always some teams you can't tell if they're legit or not just yet. it up and this next one could give them the lead the combination of shooting and speed Oladipo provides this team is invaluable and his hunger to keep getting better also impressive Wesley Matthews checked in for Los Angeles and that drops so they now lead by one and the Lakers have possession Bobbed up there for Drummond. Picks it out to James. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Davis against Adebayo. Down to five on the shot clock. Matthews, no good. And for the Heat, they're shooting just about an even 40% to start. Oladipo misses. LA's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. Get Anthony Davis in transition before the defense can set up. It gives him a lot of options. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. You know, even though LeBron doesn't go 100% every minute of every game in the season, G.A., he still knows when to turn it on. And for someone at his age, that is something you have to know how to do. You can see when LeBron kicks it into that next gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. Now, here's none. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And there's that scorer's mentality 
that Oladipo possesses, which really puts the defense in a bind trying to stop him. The Heat have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Free throw good from Oladipo. Oladipo hits them both. For Los Angeles, they've gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. LeBron kicks it over to Schroeder. Pass to Matthews. Back to Schroeder. Jacks up a three. Drills the three-pointer. Good job of stepping up to the plate there. Seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Here's Otobio. Again, the miss by the Heat. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Butler with the ball. He's coming off a 22-point game against Atlanta. Oladipo finds Adebayo. Throws down the alley and slam. Wonderful play with that long wingspan and huge hands. Adebayo catches and finishes with ease. Bobbed up there for Drummond, and it's Drummond with the jam. With the flexibility to adjust at the rim, Drummond can catch the pass almost anywhere and still throw it down. Matthews against Oladipo. And Butler, here we go. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Andre Drummond picks one up. The quickness of Jimmy Butler is the reason why he got that bucket. And, and as much as he commands attention on the court, Jimmy Butler continues to skip the spotlight when he's off it. You know, G.A., nothing has come easy in his career for Jimmy Butler. All he does is puts his head down and works and works and works. And because of that work ethic, he has become an all-star. Love watching his progression. No good on that one. You look at the success of Jimmy Butler, the NBA's most improved player in 2015, and continuing to refine his game. Bialica, he's checked in for Miami. Hero comes in for Victor Oladipo. Good on the second free throw. The importance of the three-point shot never greater than right now, and in your eyes, there are some players who are just absolutely dead, solid, perfect from distance. No doubt about it. And, and you know, there's three guys to me, though, that kind of separate themselves. Uh, and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and at attacking the paint. Steph Curry, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Those three guys can all hit pull-ups and step backs from range off the dribble. Uh, they all got great vision, you know, so they can take advantage of defenses that get caught loading a little too much. And then they also are terrific at the, in the paint at getting to the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc uh, when you start, start talking about having to guard the three-point line. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Hero, good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. A focused individual. Hero's not going to let a little contact affect his shot. Lakers leading by three. Schroeder up top, defended by none. And it's good, two points. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. And the Heat call time here. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. I mean, in the modern era, you, you have to be able to stretch the floor or you're going to struggle. 
Reason why, that opens up driving lanes, makes it dangerous for teams to W in the post. The offense becomes more dynamic. A different look for Miami. Andre Igudawa is checked in for Bam Adebayo. Robinson comes in for Jimmy Butler, and it's Drogic in for Kendrick Nunn. The Lakers also making some changes. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Davis. And Kyle Kuzma is subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. Here's Matthews. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for Miami. They trail by seven. Robinson down low. Covered by LeBron. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Getting hit on the way up. The ability to finish in traffic might be Harrell's strongest attribute offensively. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Lakers leading by seven. Now here's Harrell. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. In the corner, Drummond with it. Six on the shot clock. LeBron with it. Robinson picks him up. The drive by James. Defensively, you want to take away LeBron's driving lanes, but his speed and power still went out. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Goran Dragic last season coming off the bench for the first time in his eight years in the league really excelled in that six-man role. He did. He's a guy who creates his own offense. He's also a guy who can organize the reserves and keep things flowing. All about finding ways to continue to flourish. And he did it. And that one falls for Dragic. Well, he was a champion in Italy. We see what Dragic has done in the NBA. He's had a solid career, and he's still evolving. Marcus Alls checked in for Drummond. Both free throws good from Dragic. Here's James. He's got eight. <laughs> Eleven feet away, connects the jumper drops. James has got ten points in the game. Man, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Here's Hero. He's covered by Matthews. Robinson dishes to Dragic. Passes to Bialica. Off target with his three. Lakers leading by nine. Here's Matthews. Second shot opportunity. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Goran Dragic. The crazy intensity of Montrez Harrell, using it to perfection in order to get calls. And he's got his first free throw of the game. This season, the percentage right around 72%, so not the kind of success he was hoping for. The first free throw is good. Well, you know, teams look for plus sixes. Players whose wingspans exceed their height by a half foot. Montrez Harrell is a 6'7 player with a 7'4 wingspan. If you're struggling with the math, ladies and gentlemen, that's a plus nine. And both free throws, good for Harrell. And between his length and his athleticism, Montrez Harrell well suited for that role of small ball center, Greg, in today's NBA. Yeah, I mean, he's fearless. He even giving up a few pounds, a few inches, he'll go right at you and making steady improvements as a rebounder year over year. Dragic gets the bucket. Boy, the defense was physical on that play, but Dragic has added strength over the years and able to complete the bucket. Lakers leading by nine. Kuzma outside. Back to LeBron. We've got 155 left in the first. 
Here's Gasol. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Nuggets looking it over. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Boy, he's a player who battles for everything he gets. Dragic with the chance to tack on one more. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And the Lakers with some changes. Then McLemore comes in for Wesley Matthews. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for LeBron. Here's Schroeder in the game against Orlando. Very impressive. It's stolen by Dragic. Now here's Dragic, the fast break opportunity. They get the rebound. It's Bialica. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. And it's Belyica with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Alex Caruso is checked in for Los Angeles. And it's Kuzma with the ball for the Lakers. Eight-point game. Harrell the pass to Schroeder. Loads it up there for Harrell. Hammers the alley-oop through. If you start the alley-oop, Harrell can usually finish it. He's an explosive big man with good hands. And it's Igudala with the jam. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. 59 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Harrell. To the inside, Caruso. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Already ahead by double digits, trying to run away and not look back. Oh, oh no, he's the last guy you want to put on the line you can just about book the points every time he steps up there and the Lakers making a change here Horton Tucker's checked in so he hits one of two from the strike a uh, uh, team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter from deep Gasol the shot's good on the assist by Schroeder Schroeder's got three assists in the game Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The athleticism plus the mobility. Tyler Hero is someone who drives well inside. The Lakers with the ball. Ten point lead. Kuzma outside. Back to Schroeder. Here's Horton Tucker. Here's Harrell. Lays it up off the glass. Harrell's got eight points. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And we spoke with Jimmy Butler not too long ago about his teammates. These guys work so hard, and they're young, and they're professional with it, um, that you're, you're, you're playing that seed early. So they can only get better, and they're learning, and they're gaining confidence because they're playing so well. So with me being here with these guys, we're special. Well, Greg, it sounds like Butler has found happiness. You know, people don't talk enough about fit. It's important to be in an organization and a system that maximizes your abilities. Butler is playing some of the best ball in his life and making everyone around him better. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Way to set the table. Offensively, they dominated on the interior. They came in looking to attack. 
from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. So the Lakers five right now. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Caldwell Pope. Then there's Kyle Kuzma, and it's Mark Gasol, and it's Harrell in at the power forward. He hits the second from the line. Greg, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It, it is, Kevin, and, and yeah, some people like the physicality of the era I played in, but, you know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement, and I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling, and ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact, even if it's, you know, incidental. And I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. He throw good, Dragic. Lakers leading by 10. And here's Caldwell Pope. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Orlando. And he was also a terrific creator in that game as well. His assist total show you what a fantastic all-around effort it was. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. It's Trogic with the drive, takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Great job of taking control of the offense tonight. Dragic loves to be the man. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Now Schroeder. Here's the teardrop. He lays it in. Schroeder's got his third basket of the night. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Count it, and the Laker lead has been cut back down to eight. An important basket there from Robinson. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. That puts them squarely... Oh! oh! More of a score first point guard, but Schroeder doing a good job of finding the open band. On the wing, it's Igudala. And the slam dunk by Igudala. Oh, up high and down hard <laughs> with that one hander. He got a little extra forceful. You're right with that one. Coldwell Pope with it. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Schroeder. It's hauled in by the Heat. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul called on Los Angeles. The Heat have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And the first one drops. You can easily understand on that play why many are excited by Tyler Hero. The kid's potential is impressive. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Bam Adebayo is checked in for Iguodala. And it's Butler in for Duncan Robinson. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Davis is checked in for Montrez Hero. Both good from the line that time. Now, here's Schroeder. Eight points for him. Outside, Davis. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got his fifth assist in this one. The Heat trail by eight. Outside, Dragic. Kuzma brings the double team. And the shot goes down. Butler's got five. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Caldwell Poe passes to Schroeder. And 
blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Butler goes in and slam dunk by Butler. I love that by Jimmy Butler. Sees a little bit of daylight, takes it, and slams it. So it's the Lakers now. Four-point game. Schroeder outside. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Shot's good by Hero. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Davis against Adebayo. Davis inside, and Adebayo sends it back. This shot can't get past Bam. His reach is just too much. Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast uh, table? Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have Shooting two. in terms of broadcasting. You know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and the things that we take for granted now. So looking back on it, no. But boy, am I glad I did. I am glad you did, too. You, you probably don't remember <laughs> this. Doc Rivers and I were doing a game. You came over to say hi to the two of us. Went back out on the floor. Doc nudges me and said he'll be great in TV side. So we saw it then. He's a, he's a good mind. The man knows what he's talking about. And he can't hit the second. The future is bright for Anthony Davis. Not only is he a scorer, he's efficient, he's effective, and he's passionate about the game. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Back to Schroeder. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. The shot by Butler, nobody around. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Davis kicks it over to Schroeder. Shoots. Los Angeles with another miss. And here's Miami. They're on a 17-7 run. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Davis has got 13 points. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Oladipo against Caldwell Pope. Count it in the Laker lead has been cut down to just three in the basket from Oladipo. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Schroeder. Eight points for him. Looking to get it going. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. The Heat have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Really flowing here. Butler against Schroeder. Oladipo for three. The shot comes out, and the Lakers will go the other way with it. Caldwell Pope left side. Back to Davis. Pulls up on the elbow. And Oladipo pulls it down. And here's Oladipo. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. They trail by three. They can look forward to the American Airlines Center after this game. They'll match up against Dallas. That's game one of a three-game road trip. And the Heat making a change here. Bialitz has checked in. Andre Drummond's checked in for the Lakers. James comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Lakers leading by three. When Kuzma first entered the league, the Lakers were a rebuilding team. Now, Greg, he's one of the more experienced pieces on this team. And Kuzma's made the most of it, switching to a learning role, tries to absorb as much as he can from the vets, and he does everything he can to pick their brain and improve on those little things in terms of championship caliber basketball. None passes to Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. Showing off the dynamic athleticism, Bam is no stranger to rocking the rim. Lakers shooting has just been outstanding tonight. 56% as a team in this game. James looking around. 
Here's Drummond. Nice work on the boards, paying off with the basket. Drummond's got his second basket. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Schroeder against none. The pass to Autobio. Oladipo outside. Shot clock at six. The Lakers in the lead. And now here's Davis, the fast break opportunity. And Butler sends it back. On the prowl, Butler with the block shot. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Good, and it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Oladipo's got three assists tonight. Lakers leading by three. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. The league's long-distance bombers are setting their sights on the three-point contest this season. Here are some of the early favorites to make up the field. And I love the way the voting is shaping up, Kevin. We'll have an excellent contest if these are the shooters who are firing away on All-Star Weekend. You take a look at Schroeder. He's got a place in the three-point contest within his reach. I hope he makes it because I know how much this would mean to him to be a part of the event. I mean, that's a good call, Kevin. He's the type of player that can really deliver on a stage like that. He'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in. And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters, that's for certain. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, and I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent, precision, and, and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball. Now, none after the missed three from Dennis Schroeder. Looks it up for Anabayo, an emphatic LU jam. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead changes. Six already. LA's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Luter passes to James. It's hauled in by the Heat. Autobio's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Butler against Schroeder. Butler attacking, and it's Butler with the jam. I love his mindset on that drive, Jimmy Butler. No one wants to get in his way when he's on the attack. And here is Los Angeles now. It's a three-point game. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Down low, here's Caldwell Pope, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Never a bad idea to run the old kick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Schroeder outside. And here's Davis for three. Victor Oladipo grabs the miss. Oladipo's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Adebayo, and they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. And you talk about guys who play with that chip on their shoulder. Bam Adebayo has not forgotten he was cut from the U.S. national team in 2019. And Greg, in fact, he told those close to him, they will pay. A little extra motivation. Fuel for the fire. Man, you know, Bam Adebayo knows his role. Doesn't play outside of himself. And he's a quality teammate, too. Now, here's LeBron. 35 points for him last game against the Magic in Orlando. And he showed again why he is such a sensational playmaker. Some of the plays he made were just remarkable. And Davis gets it to go. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. 
Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Timeout called the Heat. And let's check out stats for James. His last 10 games have been exceptional. First in assist, and don't forget top five in the league in points per game. He's a premier offensive threat, night in and night out. And we're talking about the ultimate competitor here, leading the league in assists, maximizing every possession. He just tears apart a defense. Now, here's none. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Lakers trail by four. Outside, Davis. James finds Caldwell Pope. Butler against Harrell. Pass to LeBron. Shot clock at five. Over none. LeBron, no luck. The Heat leading by four. And Oladipo, here we go. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Oladipo's got 12 in the game. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. There's 138 left in the second quarter. And here is James. Ten points for him. And out of fire, sends a pick. I can't believe he hasn't hit a shot all period. Someone else needs to step up and help close the gap. And it's Butler missing. Lakers trail by six. The drive by LeBron. He scores his sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. We all know LeBron is a big-time athlete, but right there, uses pace and timing to get to where he wants. Now, here's none. Nine points last night. Oh, that was something else! And I love it whenever Oladipo gets tricky with it. Putting on a show for everyone with that one. Los Angeles has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Outside, Davis. And it's off from three-point range. And there's the call on James. That's his third foul of the game. And that's the tough part of trying to keep him on the floor. Now he picks up that third foul. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Iguodala comes in for Jimmy Butler. And it's Duncan Robinson in for Kendrick Nunn. And the Lakers also making a change. Kuzma's checked in. Now, here's Bielitsa. A three-pointer is right on target. Bielitsa's got the lead up to nine now for the Heat. A much better quarter for them shooting the ball. Caldwell Pope outside. Passes it to Gasol. James against Odie. Five to shoot. And that one's good. James. He's got 14. Well, this is where LeBron wants to go. Almost unstoppable once he gets the ball in the painted area. Now Oladipo. 23 points for him the last game against Atlanta. Even though he got fouled a lot, he never lost any of his aggressiveness. He kept making free throws and then in the process, really frustrated the D. And so it's the Miami Heat bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Well, they trailed by a bunch, but once they got going, the comeback was on. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Victor, you ignited the team in the first half, but what do you need to do better in the second half? Defense. Uh, we just got to do a better job defensively, including myself. Um, I got to lead the pack uh, defensively. I think when we do that, we're effective. And we're a great team on offense. Uh, when we move the ball and we share, we're a great team. Defensively, we got to tighten up a little bit, and we're going to do a better job of that in the second half. We will see, Victor. Thank you for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This home crowd is elated about what they've seen so far. I'm Ernie Johnson. That's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Kenny Smith. Victor Oladipo putting in some incredible work. 
He had 14 points, four assists, and five rebounds. Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? I don't think anyone expected to see such numbers from the bench. You know, I'm impressed. It was what they needed, a jolt they needed, Ernie. Wow, I, I never knew their bench. As a matter of fact, I don't even know any of their players coming off the bench. Man, keep going, bench guys. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Lakers. Well, it's almost impossible to catch up if you keep fouling. They need to be the team getting to the foul line at a higher rate in the second half. That means driving to the basket, hitting the cutter, slicing to the basket. Anything going to the basket is your friend. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. You look at Anthony Davis in this game, he's been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. They're asking a lot of him, shouldering the load in a number of areas. You just hope he has enough left at the end. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Victor Oladipo is out there with Kendrick Nunn. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Deadman in at the five down low. That's the group on the four for Miami. Now here's James. Here's Drummond. You see this time and time again. Teams looking to foul Drummond. They are betting he will not make his free throws. For Los Angeles, they have made five of eight of their free throw attempts. And the first one at the line is good. And at last season's trade deadline, Andre Drummond traded away basically for a second round pick. A shockingly low return for a guy who was once considered a franchise player. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, now when you foul Drummond, he can hurt you a little bit at the line. He's much improved. Pass to none. Here's Deadman, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Deadman's got his first points of the game. Relentless on the offensive glass, and then you love the finish. And, Greg, why is it that the Pistons got so little in exchange for Drummond? Well, I, I think he was an impending free agent. I think Detroit looking to rebuild. Also, it says something about the center position in today's game. You won't find a much better alley with partner. AD flying to the rim. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And the defense knows he's relentless. You have to try and match that intensity. Here's LeBron following the score by Miami. Here's Davis. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Davis has got four this quarter. The advanced skill set of AD. When he gets to feeling good, he's a really hard guy to stop. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. To the middle. Deadman kicks to Buck. From downtown. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Oladipo misses. Lakers trail by five. Two minutes into the second half of play now. And Davis, here we go. It's hauled in by the Heat. Deadman's got six rebounds now in the game. Oladipo finds Adebayo to the paint. Here's Deadman. The kick out to Oladipo. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. James right side. Outside, Davis. Back to LeBron. And it's Miami with the rebound. 
Butler's got rebound number seven for him tonight. It's hard to contest Andre Drummond inside. All you can do is try to make him earn his money at the line. The Lakers have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. Seven for ten. Throw good Drummond. Heroes checked in for Oladipo. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. And down it goes, jamming that one home. And there is no better way to add to the lead. Isn't that true, GA, especially when the slam is coming from the point guard? It sends a message that we're going to be aggressive no matter who's taking the shot. And here is Los Angeles now after the Heat pick up, too. And there's the feed to Butler. And that one drops for him. And it's a seven-point Heat lead. This is where Jimmy Butler really does his best work when he can use his length and strength to full advantage. Lakers have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Down low. Now the pass to Drummond. Launches it. Miami grabs the miss. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pass. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Here's what Miami has lined up on their schedule. On Wednesday, they'll go up against Chris Dapps, Porzingis, and the Dallas Mavericks. And then on Friday, they'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the Memphis Grizzlies. Take a break. Take a break. And you know for that matchup with New York. That's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. Goran Dragic has checked in for Miami. Good on the second, so he makes them both. And the new G League Pro Team Smitty signed a number of five-star high school basketball players. How do you think this is going to impact the college game? Well, I think it's going to impact it, Kevin. Um, you miss out on those stars, for sure. But I think you'll get more guys that'll play two, three, four years in college, which will give college basketball more consistency. Now, here's Schroeder. He's got eight. Fade away. And it's Davis missing. The Heat leading by nine. Oh, and a fast break. Oh, no, he didn't. Put this guy in the dunk contest. Jimmy Butler is ready to win it all. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense is a smooth operator. And maybe that'll trigger them impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Now here's Butler. 15 points in the game. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The intensity of the game and by Jimmy Butler is the reason why he got that contact. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season how about over 90 percent take a break take a break two shots the first one falls and the lakers with some changes morris is checked in for anthony davis and kyle kuzma is subbed in for contavious caldwell pope And so he's able to get one of two. And the former Utah Ute, Kyle Kuzma, can play either forward spot. Has a good blend, uh, Smitty, of size and speed. 
Yes, Kevin, but right now I prefer him at the four. The reason why, he can stretch the floor, but he can tack a lot of those big forwards. And his shooting, it will get consistent as the years go on. Here's Dragic following the basket by LeBron James. Kuzma brings the double team. Hero passes to Adebayo, and he gets the bucket. Adebayo has got 13 points. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. James, the bounce pass, and Drummond throws it down. The defense keeping its attention on LeBron. He hits the roller in stride. To the inside, Dragic. LeBron with some nice deep. Lakers trail by eight. Three on three. Nobody near Schroeder. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got his eighth assist in the game. And here's Dragic. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Outside Butler. Inside. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. Rolling off the pick, Bam is very mobile. Finds good spacing and his shot. James with it. He's got 16. Feeds to Morris. Banked in off the glass. Morris has got his first basket. And even if you risk a foul, the D has to play him tougher when he gets it that deep. And if you don't, they keep finding the matchup every time up the floor. Now, here's Adebayo. He's got 15. It's good from long range. Hero's got five points now in the quarter. This is really what separates Tyler Hero as a player. The confidence and touch from deep. Lakers trail by eight. Schroeder surveying the floor. Bobbed up there for Drummond, and Drummond throws it down. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Shots good by Hero. When Tyler Hero gets it going, as he has tonight, he can score in bunches. Los Angeles has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Back to LeBron, eight feet away, and Adebayo sends it back. They recover it, and the wide-open shot from Morris. No good, not a friendly rim at all this trip down. Pass to Hero. The three. No good that time, and the Lakers will go the other way with it. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Now let's go to the 2K leaderboard to look at the teams that specialize in intimidation. The Lakers, number one. And sometimes a team will get one guy who can block. Other times a guy finds ways to get others involved in blocking. It, it can be contagious. Take a break. If he Take can break. do it, wh why not me? Then all of a sudden you look up and you're leading the league in blocks. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the Heat. Andre Igudala is checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Robinson is subbed in for Goran Dragic. Marcus Gasol's checked in for the Lakers. Harrell comes in for Markeith Morris. And so Butler nails both of them. Now here's James. 16 points for him and the Lakers call time here and the lack of rim protection top of the list and it boils down to the question toughness one team showing it the other allowing itself to be bullied a moment to check out Bam Adebayo here the last 10 games he has been on a heck of a run He's putting up about 21 points per 14 rebounds and just over three blocks. And the phrase stats don't lie absolutely applies here. He's been a monster on the court for this team. He's versatile. He's prolific. There really isn't much a defense can do once he catches fire. Now here's James. 
He's an offensive force, averaging nearly 26 points a game. Well, he leading by 10. And play stops. Back Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And read the play perfectly. Gets himself in the air at the right moment. Terrific denial. Robinson against Schroeder. Loads it up there for Harrell. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And for a big guy, Harrell's quick off his feet. He can block shots inside and on the perimeter. And great hustle to turn that block shot into a fast break opportunity. Big time play on both ends. The shot by Autobio, no good. Lakers trail by six. Shooter kicks to LeBron. Miami grabs the miss. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. And right there, I like how Adebayo takes his time, scans the floor, makes the unselfish play. And here is Los Angeles now. Schroeder outside. Passes it to Kuzma. To the middle. And the tough by LeBron. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, you'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed. And that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. Lakers trail by four. Kuzma kicks to LeBron. The drive by Schroeder. And the rejection by Iguodala. He's doing what he can to help them cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. Miami's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. To the inside. Great D that time from Harrell. Lakers shooting 48% from the field as a team in this third quarter. And it's Schroeder missing. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Heat. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. And it falls over the rim and in. And the Heat lead by six. Some shooters get tunnel vision. But Tyler keeping his eyes up and his options open delivers a great pass. And the Lakers call time here. You look at Jimmy Buck. He's really been playing well. And he's just attacking the rim with force here. They need to try and deny him the ball in the paint to keep him away from the basket. Oladipo, he's checked in for Miami. Kendrick Nunn comes in for Tyler Hero. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Lakers. Heat on D. Six-point lead. And James gets it to go on the assist by Schroeder. LeBron's got eight here in the quarter. Heat shooting well, 52% in the third. They came to play offensively in the second half. 125 left in the third. Robinson for three. Good D by LeBron. Great perimeter D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. And it's Iguodala with the rebound. Iguodala has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Oladipo. And the rejection by James. You got to keep an eye out for LeBron. He may be lurking. What a block that one was. And Miami has possession. Four-point game. Iguodala dishes to Oladipo. Rebound by Harrell. It seemed like he changed his mind halfway through the layup. Tried to go to something else and, and flat out choked it. Miami leading by four. Iguodala, no good. Robinson against Caldwell Pope. 
Pass to Schroeder. Back to Caldwell Pope. Six to shoot. Miami's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Fires the three. Another miss by Caldwell Pope. It could go. That one's not going to go. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? Heat lead by four. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. And meanwhile, Frank Vogel talking to his team. Play for each other. Creators and receivers. Okay. Share the ball. Here we go. On everyone on the same page offensively, Frank Vogel saying to each man, do it for your teammates. And, you know, I love the fact that he's promoting the, the spirit, the camaraderie between his guys. When they're working together, they are a lot harder to stop. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. So for the Lakers right now, Caldwell Pope and LeBron fill out the wings. Montrez Harrell is out there with Anthony Davis, and it's Schroeder in at the one. The pass to Nunn. There's the dish to out. Count it. That's what Andre gives you out of the backcourt. Versatility, size, and he competes. He's also a coach out there on the floor. Lakers trail by three. Here's Schroeder. Pass to Davis. Igudala with the steal. Here's none. That falls. Nice feed that time from Andre Igudala. And the Heat lead by five. And you know what? He's shaking off the cold shooting performance from the first half. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Schroeder against none. Caldwell Pope right side. Again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. The Heat making a switch here. Deadman's checked in. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Andre Drummond's checked in for Montrez Harrell. And he sinks the second. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Releases from 15, and he overshot that one, missing. And it's Adebayo with the ball for the Heat. They played a great fourth quarter defensive, allowing only three points. Boy, he gets great elevation for a player his size. Maybe we need to get Oladipo back in the dunk contest. Robinson against LeBron, and that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Passes it to James. Caldwell Pope kicks to James. Good. Nice job down low. LeBron's got 10 points here in the second half. LeBron is having himself a game. Staying aggressive, playing with a lot of force. None against Schroeder. Pass to Oladipo. 
Here's Deadman. Shot clock at six. Robinson for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Drummond's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Victor Oladipo. And to think LeBron in high school was recruited by some D1 colleges to play wide receiver. Boy, what a downfield target he would have been. Free throw good, LeBron. Steve, one thing I always think of when I watch LeBron, how much fun it must be to be a teammate of his. You know, Kevin, I wish I could have played with a guy like LeBron James. You get so many open looks and easy finishes with him on the court. One of the easiest superstars to play with, bar none. Well, he leading by four. And Oladipo, here we go. No good on that one. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And he knocks down the first one. Oladipo hits them both. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Here's James, and he banks in the layup. LeBron's got 14 points now in the second half. The indestructible one, LeBron brushing off contact for the easy deuce. There's the pass to Deadman. to Oladipo. Over Caldwell Pope. Oladipo misses. Lakers trail by four. Davis inside. Deadman's there. Passes it to Drummond. Pass to LeBron. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Now just a two-point heat lead. What well, makes Drummond a great rebounder, not just the size and athleticism, it's his tremendous anticipation. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. And he gets it back. Here's Schroeder. A miss that time. Would have put him up. Oh, man, he hasn't had the rhythm tonight. Tried to make up for it there, but it just wasn't meant to be. free throw no good Butler he's checked in for Robinson and the second free throw good and here is James and the pass to Drummond back to James pass to Caldwell Pope Schroeder out of bounds Miami takes possession yeah just not on the same page unfortunate wasted possession so it's Miami now they've led by as many as 11 points and Davis sends it back 
And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Caldwell Pope. Miami leading by three. Now Oladipo makes it off the glass. Oladipo's got 21 in the game. Yeah, this is light work for Oladipo. Uh, if the D doesn't force him out of that area, they're done. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. This is it to James. Over Butler. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. For Miami, they've gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Half the time to go cold. None, that's good. I like that approach playing inside out, forcing the defense to scramble. Lakers trail by eight. LeBron outside, and it's Drummond with the jam. He could have tried to force a shot there. Instead, LeBron keeps his eyes up, finds an open teammate. Timeout called the Heat. Heroes checked in for the Heat. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Eric Spolstra had some words for his team. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? The first free throw is good. He hits both from the strike. Here's Schroeder. James outside. Back to Schroeder. A three ball. Good, and the assist goes to James. James has got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Miami leading by five. None with it. Pass to Deadman. Now here's Adebayo. Deadman passes to Butler. No good that time. Great D that time from LeBron. Here's Schroeder. Count that one. Now it's just a three-point heat lead. What an athlete, Dennis Schroeder. He's a problem when he's out on the break. None against Schroeder. Butler in the corner. The pass to Autobahn over Davis. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Davis. This is where Bam goes to work, which in turn draws the D's attention. And he makes the first. And out of bio, drops them both. Here's Schroeder. LeBron outside. He feeds it to Drummond. That one doesn't go. And Miami the other way now. They've led by as many as 11 points. He gets it in there. Butler's got 11 points here in just the second half. Those 220 pounds came in handy. Jimmy Butler using his big body and muscling those tough shots. Schroeder kicks to LeBron. Another shot. Pass to Drummond. Here's Davis. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Jimmy Butler. 
This is what you love about AD. He combines the skill with the great physical attributes. Excellent pump fake. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Davis. The Heat leading by five. And here's none. Down low. And he pings it home with one hand. Great floor awareness there by Jimmy Butler. Sensing one of his guys is open and gets it to him. Here's James scoring at will. He's had it going on offense. And it's not as if the defense hasn't focused on it, but he is just at a level right now offensively where you cannot deny it. Now here's Schroeder. Pass to LeBron. Just five to shoot. No good. Shot missing. And it's Miami the other way. The feed to Butler. To the wing on the left. Edmund passes to Hero. Pass to Autobio. Here's none. And it's sent back by Drummond. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got assist number five here tonight. And there you go, a confident score. KCP coming up big when they need it. Now, here's none. The pass to Dedman. Pass to Hero. There's the triple. The rebound by the Lakers. Now the Lakers on the break. High arcing shot. Here's Drummond. A beautiful reverse layup. And now just a two-point Miami lead. In attack mode, Drummond getting aggressive as the game heats up. And the Heat call time here. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Dennis Schroeder. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Oladipo, he's checked in for Miami. So it's Miami now. Dunn looking around. Feeds it to Devin. Oladipo outside. Here comes with the double team. For three. And Victor Oladipo gets the three. Oladipo's got ten points in just the second half. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailing by five. And they double up James. No one near Drummond as he lets it go. Here's Caldwell Pope. Yeah, KCP steady there at the line. Nice work to draw the contact. And the first one at the line is good. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. The Heat leading by three. Now Oladipo. One fifty-one left here in the fourth quarter. None finds Deadman. Misses off the right iron. And up before again for the Lakers running the court. Davis. And the Lakers get it back. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. Count it good. LeBron's got eight points in the quarter. You know that he's always going to find a way to get the ball in tight situations like that and knock it down. Oladipo dishes to Devin. Back to Oladipo. A 
back at six. Here's Gunn. And it's Oladipo on the wing. Over Drummond. Oladipo misses. L.A. has gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. And James with the basket on the assist by Davis. That's now 32 points for LeBron. The defender is left helpless to stop that. LeBron with too many tools in the toolbox. And that killer instinct. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's Deadman with the rebound. Abayo down low. He's guarded by Davis. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. It's incredible. And I'll tell you what, it's a joy to watch. There's more to his game than threes and dunks. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. And simply look at how Oladipo is built. Dude has a huge upper body. It is hard to check that. Marcus Gasol has checked in for Drummond. He drops the first one, and that brings them within two. Oladipo hits them both. No doubt about those free throws. This is why you put the ball in his hands. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. Now, here's James. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Three-pointer. And there's the rebound by Dedman. Jumps up. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Defense. What defense? Jimmy Butler was determined to knock that one down. Timeout called the Lakers. Guys, what's your take? And they have just enough time for a catch and shoot here. It has to be an immediate shot, though. That's their only hope. James has a two-pointer. Oh, the all-or-nothing shot. No good. And so the big win by Miami in a tight game. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win and, and really... It's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. With Jimmy Butler. Now, Jimmy, you guys struggled early on, but you got the momentum back and the lead. What adjustments did you make? Just being aggressive on both ends of the floor. I feel like uh, we're a little loose at the beginning and, and not playing with a lot of energy. I feel like that's what this team's about. So when we got out there, started playing hard and, and getting easy baskets, uh, we, we cut that lead in half. And it led to a win. Thanks, Jimmy. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.